The school here in Lima has just over 50 students, K through 12. It's a small school in a small town, but it has a big problem. It needs funding. And the folks in this small town say they need to keep this important school open. Everything in, this, in the town revolves around that school. Everything. The school is facing a budgetary shortfall of about $157,000 along with a dwindling enrollment. Superintendent Brian Rayburn assured the school will be open next year, but if things don't change, the future is uncertain. Many residents of this town of just over 200 people fear the loss of the school. It would be heartbreaking. It would be so sad. And so I feel like the school needs to stay running, needs to stay afloat, so then the community can continue to thrive. The school has 11 teachers educating 57 students, and students enjoy the small classrooms. Um, there's like no bullies or anything, and it's, our teachers are nice, and it's really fun for the kids, I think. They believe a small school education is beneficial to students. They learn not only a curriculum, but they learn life lessons. They learned how to be a, a good neighbor and a good citizen. Beaverhead County officials want the federal government to pay more taxes on its 45,000 acre Red Rocks Lake Wildlife Refuge and will be pushing Montana's congressional representatives to try to appropriate that funding. Well, they're missing $100,000 per year of a, of a contract with the federal government to pay to keep this school open. And I think it's, it's critical that it needs to be done that way. The school was built in 1924 when it was a booming railroad town. The school boasts a six-man football team and a basketball team with a small but dedicated roster. The mayor says it's important not to lose the school. And we need to try, we need to try our hardest to keep what we got here to keep this going. Students agree. Uh, Save our school. <laughs> In Lima, John Amy, MTN News.